Hey, me mad here? And no surrender. I didn't see the whole show on my computer when it happened, but I just watched the highlights now, and holy shit. An amazing show. You have the pre-show, which was Trey Miguel. We defeated John Schuyler. I didn't see this match. But then you have Havoc, who defeated Janelle Dashwork, which I kind of figured that would happen. I mean, why the fuck not? Tennille also had Caleb and Madison Rain in her corner, but to no avail. The match was pretty good. The show started in a four way. Jake Something, who defeated Ace Austin, Chris Bay, and Mike Bailey. This was a good match, too, and Jake Something is a hell of a wrestler. And I mean, yeah, yeah, his name is Silly, but. I think he deserves a push at some point, and winning is the first step, I think. So, you have these two behemoths, Black Truce versus Jonah, and I'm not quite sure if this is Jonah's first pay-per-view for Impact, but this was a good match too. He hit the slam on Black Truce to get the win, and... Again, it could have gone either way. You know, Decay is a good take team. And, you know, that is what it is. You've got Jay White versus Eric Young. Eric Young hit a pal driver on the apron. Which, to no avail anyways. You have Jay White hit the switchblade twice. So, he got the win. It was a really good match. You know, we got violent by design versus Pole Club in that case. There's Don Carrazzo defeating Miranda Elise to retain the Ring of Honor Women's Championship. And of course, she got the Venus to Milo on her. Well, this was good. Miranda got her own too, but to no avail. Deanna still the reigning. Ring of Honor Women's Champion and still Reign as the Reign as Champion. I mean, who knows what else can happen. It's Matt Cardona versus George Grace and this was for the Impact Digital Media Championship. First time in a while since they had an Andrew Jenner match. It was still pretty good. And, you know, Matt playing mind games. Of course, Jordan hit him with the chair. That cost her the match. And Matt won, retaining the title. But we'll see what happens in the future. This Impact Take Team Championships. Gorillas of Destiny versus the Good Brothers. And something I noticed is that Santana and Ortiz actually have the face paint. The black and white face paint. Which I thought was the Quill as a Destiny thing. They came out to the ring without face paint. This was a good match too. There's a point where Chris Bay distracted. Well, we thought it was going to be the Good Brothers. And then they left the ring. And I can't remember which one it was. But then Jay White came and did the switchblade to them. One of the well as a Destiny members, which had the Good Brothers do the magic killer on him to get the win. And now they're, of course, new members of the Bullet Club, which they were the original members in Japan, I believe. So, got the Women's Knockout Championship match with Mickey James and Tasha Steele. And I gotta say, with Savannah Evans, I thought... Tasha will get a win, becoming the new Knockouts champion, but somehow Chelsea Green came out to the ring, and I thought I'd distract him with James, but apparently not. Mickey ended up getting the win anyways, and yeah, still your Knockouts champion, so the Impact World Championship, Moose versus Marcy, another 
two behemoth matches. So you have these two spears and power bombs galore anyways and you know fight on the outside. Kinda of thought Morrissey was gonna win, but it turns out yeah, it was Moose who attained the title and I guess he's unstoppable. So there it is. This is the last match, Ted Man Take Team on No More versus Team Impact. And they all had a really good you know, back and forth. The PCO did a dive outside the ring, as did Vincent. You got Kenny King there, too. And, I mean, they have good offense with Rich Juan and Steve Macklin and stuff. There was a point where you have, I think it was Willie Mack that had Mouya. Yeah? They were going to, I can't remember how that went. But anyways, Eddie Edwards turned on Team Impact. And, yeah, you know, I kind of figured that was going to happen because you have Eddie Edwards who is one of the original members of Honor, you know, for American Wolves with Davy Richards. But, yeah, he's the new member of Honor No More, and I'm not sure where that's going to go. But, Anyways, this was a good match. And all in all, this was a really good show. Not only was it sweet, but it was too sweet. So you know that them cutting WCW was a long time coming. But you know, I think that there's this myth out there that Jamie Kelly no, that's why he you know, took pleasure at cutting WCW. I don't think that's the case at all. If you look at some of his earlier interviews, like he 